Okay, now this is for week two in uh, CISN 300. Let's go over what we need to do in week two. Let's see, I'm going to go to my web page and then I'm going to click on ARC Canvas and see what's going on there. I had another video that I put up here that showed you how to get into NetLab to do the NetLab portion of the assignment for this week. We go into Canvas and go to 300. What are we supposed to do to this week here? It sa says here we want to go to Modules and under Modules for Week 2 we have uh, that this is this is going to be about DHCP and DNS. So for the week two lab, it says we want to deploy DHCP and DNS. Read about the topics in the text and online. That the topics are DHCP and DNS, what they are, what they do, why we care, and configure IPv4 IP address. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute in the uh, virtual machine. Add DNS and DHCP roles in your 2019 server. Make minimum configuration of these and take screenshots, email to the instructor, or upload for credit. Also, do this NetLab on NetLab and take screenshots. Email instructor or upload everything for credit. Okay, so basically all we have to do is go into our virtual machine and add DNS and DHCP services and configure the IPv4 IP address on our machines. So that's pretty easy stuff. Let's do it. I will close this down because I don't need the internet right now. And then I will go into my VMware and see what happens. Here we are. I have VMware opened and I have a to 2019 server machine here. I'm going to open that. Play that virtual machine. That's what I'm going to do. Opening it up in VMware. And I have, I can't remember if I configured this to where it doesn't uh, open up. I'm going to say no to this. I can't remember if they this opens up with Server Manager or not. Looks like it doesn't. That's good. I have this pre-configured the way I like it. Yours may be different, but that's okay if it is. If Server Manager comes on automatically, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do with Server Manager, if it doesn't come with Server, it does come with Server Manager, you can get out of it and go straight to this. You may not have these icons on the side. If you want these icons on the side, and you did in fact install the desktop experiment experience, all you have to do is do a right click, go to uh, personalize, and then go to themes. And under themes, if you go down to the bottom, it'll say desktop icon settings. And you can put a little check mark in each one of those boxes that you want to appear on the desktop. If you're not interested in that, you don't have to do it. I just happen to like those little icons up there. And what else? Uh, oh, now that, now that you're here and you're in here, what you want to do is add DHCP and DNS to this machine. And it's very simple what, how to do that. You hit the Start button. Make sure it's the Start button on your virtual machine and not the Start button on your real machine, which is down here. Uh, you want to hit the start button on here and then you hit server manager and then under server manager after this thing goes by a couple of times and then stops you'll notice where it says add roles and features you want to click on add roles and features and this is the page that tells you a bunch of stuff before you begin we don't really care so we're just gonna say next and this is a role based or feature based installation yes we're gonna say next on that and I have selected my server, which I named Fred, from the pool. 
and it's a Microsoft Server 2019. Mine says data center. It doesn't really matter. If yours doesn't say data center, that's fine. If it just says standard, that's perfect. We don't need it to have data center. I just took that default when I installed this. I'm going to hit next. And you'll notice you have a roles here. Roles. And what we want to do for this role thing, we're actually, we, you can do both at the same time if you want to. There's a DHCP server. You can click on Add Features, and this doesn't like it because I don't have um, a static IP address. I'll bet you. Hmm. Maybe I should do that first. Yes. I'll close this. Let's cancel this whole thing and do something else. I am going to go into Network. Oh, turned off. Oh, it's okay. We don't care. Let's do this. Right click and say properties under network. Ah, here we are. And change adapter settings. That's what we want to do. And then after we change adapter settings, we'll see this Ethernet O, Ethernet Zero. We do a right click on that and say properties. And then scroll down here to where it says Internet Protocol version 4, IP, TCP IP v4, version 4. Click on that guy and say Properties. And you'll notice it says Obtain IP Address Automatically. We don't want to do that if we're going to be a server because servers don't like to have um, DHCP, which is to obtain IP address automatically. So we're going to put in a static server address, 192.168.1. Well, let's see. Now I'm going to change that to something that I don't have already. 3. And we're going to make this a 3. Subnet mask, we'll just use the default. Default gateway, we'll do 192.168.3. And three because that's this one and this DNS server is going to be 192 168 now that this is going to make your internet uh, connectivity on your virtual machine quit working because the DHCP the DNS is going to be wrong that's what this DNS does is it tells it where to go and stuff and we really don't have DNS set up properly here, so it probably won't work. But at the end if you, of this lesson, if you want to get your internet service to work back again on the virtual machine, you can go in and change this back to uh, obtain, obtain address automatically. And it's okay if everybody uses the same address because we're completely different areas and we're not going to interfere with each other. And these are uh, home addresses. They're not real out on the internet, so it's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to say OK. And that, oh, 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 let me go back to that. I should have said take a screenshot of that. Yeah, let's take a screenshot of that so that we can prove that we went here and did this. And this, right over here, I clicked on the snipping tool, which I have down here. And I'm going to hit new, and then I'm just going to take a picture of this, like this, and say file, save as, and this is uh, lab 2a. It's the first picture I'm taking. And I'll hit save. Where did that save? I don't know. I hope it saved it somewhere where I can find it. I didn't say put it on the desktop like I should have. Dang it. You know what? I'm going to take another picture because I really don't want to look for it right now. I'm going to hit the... I'll do it the hard way this time. I'll go here and then I'll look for snipping tool. Actually, let me search for snipping. Snip. Let's do that. And here's the snipping tool. And we'll hit new and take a picture of this and say file save as Aha! and this is on the desktop cool and I will put in here um, lab 2a and it says it's going to save it as a JPEG file which is good so I'll say save and there we go we got that 
and this is already configured the way I want it, so I'm getting out of here. Say OK and close and get rid of those. Now I can go back and do those others and it shouldn't complain as much. Oh look, I have two Lab 2As here. Oh gosh, getting rid of one of them. I did actually save it right where I wanted it to, so there's Lab 2A. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, hey look at that, just like downtown. Fantastic. Okay, so we got that one. Now let's do lab, uh, I mean the rest of the assignment. I'll say no here. And to, to, to do, I want to do this one and go to server manager again and go to add roles and features. Next, role based, picking yourself. You're the only one there. Next, DHCP add feature and DNS add feature and then hit next look at it didn't complain that's because I do have a static IP address now isn't that nice and features we don't care about features we're not going to add any features right now so we'll sit next next and next and install and it should go through this and have a blue bar go across here and as soon as it's installed, I believe we're going to have to reboot to complete the installation. <laughs> yep, that was pretty quick. And now we can say close. And we got a little yellow thing up here, which is actually a notification. What does that say? Complete DHCP configuration. Okay. And this one, I think we just need to put uh, commit. Close. Yep, that did it. Okay. So notice over here we have DHCP and DNS in our little thing that shows that we have those. I guess we don't have to, to reboot in this particular case. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, I'm going to close out this server manager and I'm going to go here and look for um, <laughs> Windows Administrative Tools. And there's a DHCP. This is the DHCP controller. And we can hit, click this arrow here, and it says IPv4 and IPv6. And it has a server, policies, and filters. And you can go in and generate information in here and configure the DHCP the way that you want to. But we're not going to do that for this lab. We're just showing that we actually installed it. And this is the IPv6, and we can go in and configure IPv6 as well. So let's just, uh, we can add a scope. We don't have a scope built yet, so we're just going to leave it like this. Take a picture of this using your main operating system outside the VMware. Say new, and then we'll take a picture of the DHCP, and we're going to save this guy as lab to b and save and close this and close this and then we can go in and look at the DNS portion of what we just did we go into Windows Administrative Tools and we should see something right there that says DNS and you'll look here DNS look at that and there's a forward lookup zone reverse lookup zone trust points all kinds of interesting things about DNS here you can go in and configure these but we're not going to right now so what I'm going to do is just take a picture of this using um, the snipping tool outside take a picture here and say file save as lab to C Isn't that nice yes Okay, now I'll go in and show you how to get rid of everything that we've just done so that it doesn't cause us problems in later labs. We can go into Server Manager and 
we can go to manage. You can't just go in and add roles, I mean, re remove roles and features. You have to go to manage and then say remove roles and features. And this has got the similar front page that you just hit next on and have the selection page and hit next. And I'm going to remove DHCP and remove DNS and hit next, next, and remove. Feature removal. Look at that. That's exciting, isn't it? Yep, that's being removed right now as we sit here. Hmm. Okay, it's removed. And what does this say? Remove roles and features. You gotta re uh, we do have to do a restart on this. So what I'm going to do is close that, close this, and then I am going to do a right click and go to properties, change adapter settings again, Ethernet, and properties in uh, Internet Protocol version 4, go to properties, change this to obtain address automatically, say OK, and close all this up, and then we will actually reboot. So we want to get this up here and get the little thing and say here, hit and restart. Unplanned is fine. Cancel. So it's stopping services and rebooting. This is for updating the VMware tools, and we really don't care that much about this. OK, it looks good. It's back to normal again. So we got the, uh, if you do the same kind of thing when you're doing the NetLab, you take screenshots along the way, a couple. And I am going to hit cancel here and close this, shut down. OK, if you have any troubles with uh, entering um, NetLab, either because of uh, the password or won't let you in or you can't figure out how to navigate it after watching the video send me an email and I will try to explain if you're whatever your difficulty is enjoy this week don't forget to take uh, quiz one and quiz two I'll show you where that is real quick let's see if you look here go into canvas again let's see quiz one and quiz two are Da, 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 da. If you look on here, module, here's quiz one and quiz two. And it's just a click on the quiz and then say it's published. Okay, what is the student view on this? Let me see. Should be able to see the student view, right? Okay, where am I? I want to go home and click on student view right there and then go to modules and then go to week two, quiz one. Take the quiz. You click on it and you'll see questions with true false little uh, radio buttons that you can press. And then hit submit the quiz at the end, and you're done. And there's no time limit or anything like that, so shouldn't have too much trouble with that. And you're free to use the internet or the ebooks or anything else to help you complete the questions on the quiz. And I believe you can take the quiz more than once if you have troubles. So leave student view, and that's what we have for this week. Let me get out of this, close tabs, and good luck everybody.